Well, hello, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back, and I've got an interesting video for you. Today, we're going to do a re-unboxing of something from MSR. going to be the Whisper Light Universal Stove. I did an unboxing video on that original stove back in April of 2016 and I loved the Whisper Light Universal. It's one of my favorite stoves. In fact, in the background you can see I have the Optimus Polaris over here and I also have the MSR Dragonfly. I'm in the process of getting ready to film a direct comparison between these two stoves. But let's get back to the Whisper Light Universal. A good friend of mine, someone very dear to my heart, a guy that I love very much, kind of wanted one of those whisper lights, and what did your man do? I gave him mine, out of the kindness of my heart. I'm very happy to see him happy. He wanted it, I sent it, no questions, just like I always do. He sent me some stuff, and I've been saving a little money here, and a little money there, and got my money saved up, and I placed the order. There's going to be a stove in this video. And there's also going to be a like a ferro rod. Now you might be wondering why are you doing a re-unboxing? Well, the purpose of that is I want to see if the packaging has changed. Does the stove look any different? Are they including anything different? Things like that. So that's why that's why I'm doing it. I've already cut the tape and already started filming a second ago. So the first thing you see here. This is something extra that I brought in. This is the MSR Strike Igniter. This is basically like a ferrocium rod that they use for lighting stoves. So I brought that in to take a look at that. It says, reliable, moisture and pressure resistant, durable, lasts for 3,000 to 12,000 strikes, and versatile, works with all stoves including MSR reactor stove systems. So that's pretty cool. It's basically a ferro rod. Now, Let's take a look at this guy right here. I can tell you already that the packaging has changed. If you go back to my original unboxing back in 2016, you'll see that the box was yellow. Now the box is red. MSR Whisperlight Universal Canister and Liquid Fuel Stove made in America. Or should I say assembled in America, right? So let me give you some specs on the stove here on the back. White gas. Um, it, it says that you can boil one liter of water in three and a half minutes and if you're using kerosene that you could boil one liter of water in 4.4 minutes and if you use the MSR isopro fuel canisters they expect boil times of one liter in 3.8 minutes now it says the uh, weight is 318 grams or 11.2 ounces and the um, that's if you're using a fuel canister uh, or, or a uh, liquid fuel rather and uh, the weight here if you're going to use the isopro is 9.5 ounces or 268 grams if I'm reading all that correctly so here's the look at the back everything that I just read you now on the side here it says includes stove fuel pump windscreen heat reflector canister stand small parts kit international instructions and a stuff sack right there written in some other languages. Now let's see what the side says. Hybrid fuel burns canister and multiple liquid fuels. And then it says easy transitions. Liquid and canister fuel couplers offer quick transitions. Filled maintainable. Shaker jet cleans the fuel jet with a simple shake. And I love the shaker jet technology. So that's what that says right there. Now let's open this thing up see what's inside oh my goodness nothing left in the packaging okay so you have a very nice bag that we've all come to love even, even all the way back from the dragonfly days the bag looks very similar doesn't it let's take a look here I'm so excited so here is an owner's manual which 
I'm kind of like your stove guys, so I pretty much understand how these operate. This is the wind reflector. One is round and it goes on the ground to reflect the heat up. And then the other one goes around it. I never use these. I, I don't. I should. I'd, I'd save a lot more fuel if I did, but I don't. Okay, let's look at this small pouch here. The bag looks identical. So we've got one little piece. What do we have here? Okay, so we've got this adapter, which threads onto the fuel line. And this goes into the liquid fuel pump. Okay, so that's nothing different. And then we also have a little maintenance kit here. We've got some pump cup oil. We've got the patented MSR tool, which hasn't changed. There's a couple jets and three O-rings, it looks like, in this package here. So we've got, and the jets, uh, back in the day, they were labeled UK, UG, and UC. So I don't see the UC, so I'm guessing that jet's in the stove. I see the UK and the UG jet here in this package. So that's pretty cool. So that's what's included there. And I'll tell you what, it's kind of neat because they show, or at least it appears to me, that the stove comes from the factory ready for canister type fuel. So because the UC jet must be installed from the factory is what I'm saying. And let's take a look here. What else do we have in this package? Okay, so this is the control valve stand. This is so you can run in liquid feed mode on these canisters. Now, why would you want to do that? If you're in high altitudes, if you're running low on fuel, or if you're in very, very cold temperatures, flipping these upside down is not going to be running them in vapor feed mode anymore, meaning you're not running gas. Now, when they're upside down, you're going to be running the liquid out of these canisters, and it's going to go through the generator loop, turning it into a gas, and it's much more efficient. So that's what this does. So, here's a look at the fuel pump. Nothing's changed. Fuel pump looks exactly as it did when I did my unboxing back in 2016. And let's see what the stove is. For outdoor use only, Whisperlite Universal Stove Model 06630. For use only with MSR fuel bottles. <clears throat> Danger. What does it say? Danger carbon monoxide hazard okay I've seen that before I remember that was on the uh, that was on the original unboxing I believe this card okay canister fuel operation just some brief directions uh, I understand how these stoves work clearly so I'm gonna cut this off I don't need this on my fuel line let's just cut that off I'll save it with my owner's manual stuff like that and then right here you can see some tape here uh, across the burner head and it says warning use only MSR fuel bottle read instructions carefully follow all operating procedures that's what that says nice little sticker all right. put it right there the stove itself looks the same they have the UC valve here which I really like this thing gives you some very nice precise flame control it has the Lindell style connector on it and the fuel line is the same. It's a really solid, robust fuel line, very heavy duty. Uh, and then the priming cup just unscrews. There's the priming wick underneath that. You can see that. So nothing's changed. Everything in this package is exactly what's always came with it. You can pop this, uh, this uh, generator loop out. And yep, it has the UC jet in it right now. So it, the stove is ready to go for <clears throat> canister fuels. Cool thing about this little notch, and you've probably seen it in my previous videos. If you haven't seen those, check the description box down below because I'll put all those videos down there. You can set this in here backwards and put a wrench on there and it kind of gives it, it holds it so you can remove the jets. It's very simple to change the jets out on these stoves. And some people might be saying, well, why would you need to change jets when you can get a you can get the Optimus Polaris. It has a single jet and it goes you know, all the way across the board. You can use multiple fuels on a single jet. And that's great. That's very true. You can kind of do that with this too. If you put the UG jet in here, 
it, I've done testing. You'll you'll find that video also in the description box down below uh, where you can do that with these stoves. I'm not saying that you're supposed to or not supposed to, but I did a lot of testing and uh, I found that it works. So very simple, very easy to prime. Stove looks the same. Let's fire it up. I've been waiting for this thing. Wow, let's get let's get the maiden voyage out of the way. And I'm gonna try my new little striker and see how that works as far as igniting this stove. I have another little one, it's a MSR, it's like a little piezo igniter too. Here it is. This is what it looks like. It's a little piezo igniter. So you just hold it in your fingers like this and gives you a little spark. Let's try this first. Wow. Yeah, that worked out well. That lit the stove. Now let's try this little ferrocium rod. See if it lights the stove. I'm so excited. I'm just like a kid in a candy store right now. You know, I work hard and I saved up my money and I finally got, wow, I like that. Looks like a little ferro, ferro rod and it's got a nice sharp 90 degree spine here. And it looks like this is like maybe a can opener or some kind of tool or something. They come with a coating on them. Okay, you got to use the bottom here. The spine is sharper. Check this out on the ferro rod. This is magnetic. Check that out. That's cool. Just the striker goes right there magnetically to it. It's pretty cool. I like that. So you're not going to lose your striker. They stay together. Pretty cool. It says MSR on it. I like it. I think it's cool. So let's see. I've never done this with this tool. I've used a, a regular ferro rod. Cool. So you can start your stove with this little ferro rod. There's the, there's the flame. And then if you want to go to liquid feed mode, you put this on. And you'll see the flame will get real large here for a second. Just because it's going from standard over to liquid. And it takes a little bit of time for the fuel to get vaporized here. Turned into a gas. Very quiet stove, got a little hissy sound to it. But I really like these stoves. So as far as the unboxing is concerned, I don't see anything new. Everything looks pretty much the same. This little piece here, it tells you what what uh, jet to use based on what fuel you're going to be using very simple the UC jet is for this and it says that's the one installed the UG you have to change it out and put this piece on and that's for gas and white gas and uh, if you're going to use automotive fuel I highly recommend using the lowest octane because if you use any of that high octane stuff it has a lot of additives and it'll gum your stove up and then if you're going to use kerosene or diesel fuel use the UK jet well, that's pretty cool but yeah I'm excited today's a beautiful day you know a new unboxing got my whisper light universal back I'm so happy look at that that thing is just cranking very powerful it's a good stove I'm sure that it'll serve me well for many years to come put it back to vapor feed mode You have a lot of flame control with this UC valve here. Turn it off. It might take a little second because there's fuel in the line because I was in a liquid feed mode. It's kind of like Christmas for me. There's that's the, the shaker yet. There, now it's opened up. Look at that. I knew it sounded like there was a little bit of a clog or something, that's why I shook it. That shaker jet technology is amazing. I like it. So folks, I want to say thank you for joining me today. 
on this MSR re-unboxing of the MSR Whisperlite Universal. I hope you got some good useful information out of this video. Please feel free to check the description box down below because like I said, I'll put links to all those videos, those MSR. There's a whole series of videos that I did. Uh, they're excellent videos. In fact, you know, it might be a little easier if you just click on the MSR playlist. Uh, and until next time, I want to say thank you again for stopping by. Appreciate your views. Appreciate you stopping in and all the support. I go. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Later. I'm going to play with this new toy. I'm so excited. Look at that. That thing. The, I like this little piezo. This thing works good. I wonder if, the, if it'll work with the Polaris. Let's find out. Let's see if it'll work with the Polaris. Let's set that back. Let's try this little piezo igniter with the Polaris. Let's find out. Is it going to work? Bonus footage right here. Bonus footage, folks. This is cool, too, because you can flip these little legs out. Go straight to liquid feed. <laughs> kind of holds it for you. Let's try. Now the Polaris, you have to light it from the from the side right here in this little hole. Is it going to work? I don't know. It's not looking too good. Let's try the ferro rod. Sure, the ferro rod will. So that's different. Let's give it a little more. I'm surprised. I thought it would light. There we go. Took about how many strikes? Wow. I'm the stove guy. Later. <laughs>